Hi guys! Ayan! Welcome sa ating lesson today. Ako, si Maria Merlinda, isang licensed professional teacher at ang inyong mayora na mamimigay ng ayuda sa pamamagitan ng pagtuturo ng matematika. In this video, we will be discussing how to add or to subtract radicals. But before that, we should know first how to simplify radicals. At gumawa ako ng isang video about that. Make sure you check that out first before going to this lesson. The link for that video is on the description box below. So, without further ado, let's get this lesson started. So, ang pag-add or pag-subtract ng radicals ay pwede nating i-compare sa pag-add or pag-subtract ng algebraic terms. How? Let's use this table. So, first, can we add 3x plus 4x? Pause this video and think. Yes or no? Obviously, this is a yes. Why? They have the same variable and same degree or exponent. Kung pwede silang ma-add, ano ngayon ang sagot? The answer is 7x. Now, let's have this next example. Can we subtract 2y and 5x? Pause this video again and think. Mukha ba silang pwedeng isubtract? The answer here is no. Dahil magkaiba sila ng variable. Yung isa, y, tapos yung kabila, x. If that is the case, ano ngayon ang answer natin kung hindi sila pwedeng isubtract? Kapag hindi sila pwedeng isubtract, we will have to copy them. So, 2y minus 5x pa rin yung sagot. Can we add 11x squared plus 4x? O ayan, pareho yung variable x. Do you think we can add them? Still, the answer here is no. Because even if they have the same variable, their exponent or their degree is different. Yung isa squared, tapos yung isa to the first power lang. And ang answer natin dito is 11x squared plus 4x pa din. Kopya lang nung given. And finally, can we subtract 13x minus 28y squared? Obviously, this is also a no. Dahil magkaiba na sila ng variable, magkaiba pa sila ng degree or exponent. So dito, tulad kanina, ikakopy din natin 13x minus 28y squared yung answer. So kung mapapansin nyo, merong mga certain requirement bago natin ma-add yung mga terms. And that requirement is this. In order to add or subtract, Algebraic terms, they should be like or similar terms. Paano natin malalaman na like or similar terms? They should have the same variable and they should have the same exponent or degree. Dapat lagi ito na mimit. Isa lang dyan na maiba, hindi na maaad. Tulad dito, 3x plus 4x, parehong variable, parehong exponent. So, naad natin into 7x. So, tulad ng nabanggit ko kanina, adding or subtracting radicals can be compared to adding or subtracting terms. Dahil, tulad ng mga algebraic terms, meron ding rule ang adding or subtracting radicals. And that is, they should be the same radicals. Ano kaya ang requirement para maging same radicals? Ano ang titingnan natin? They should have the same radicand, yung number sa loob ng radical sign, and they should have the same index, yung maliit na number sa labas ng radical sign. Kapag may isa lang dito na naiba, for example, parehong-pareho sila ng radicand, pero magkaiba ng index, hindi na sila pwedeng i-add. Or, pareho sila ng index, pero magkaiba ng radicand, hindi na rin sila pwedeng i-add. Okay? Tandaan, similar radicals lang ang pwede nating i-add. At kapag similar radicals, they should have the same radicand and 
they should have the same index. So here are the steps kung paano tayo mag-add or mag-subtract ng radicals. Just like before, yung mga steps ay ilalagay ko sa left, tapos yung mga examples sa right. Let's start. First step, check if the radicals are similar. They should have the same radicand and they should have the same index. Let's start with example 1. Square root of 32x plus square root of 50x. Ayan. Obviously, pareho sila na index. Parehong square root. Pero ang problema natin, radicand. Isa 32x, isa 50x. Tingnan natin kung paano ang gagawin sa mga susunod na step. If they are similar, proceed na tayo sa step 2. But if they are dissimilar, simplify them first before proceeding to step 2. Dito ngayon papasok yung lesson natin nung nakaraan, simplifying radicals. Dito, kailangan ma-recall natin paano natin isi-simplify itong 32x at saka itong 50x. We know that this 32 needs to be factored as well as 50. Dapat yung isang factor ng 32 may square root. Dapat yung isang factor ng 50 may square root. And we know that the correct set of factors for this is 16 times 2. And for 50, we have 25 times 2. Dahil itong 16, makukuha na natin ng square root as well as 25. So, gawin natin yon, Simplify natin. Itong 16 ng square root ay 4. Tapos yung 2x may iwan sa loob. Yung 25 ang square root ay 5. Tapos yung 2x may iwan sa loob. Ayan. Similar na sila. Pareho ng index, pareho na rin ng radicand. So, we now proceed to step 2. Step 2. Add or subtract the extracted roots or the numbers outside the radical sign of similar radicals. Then, just copy the index and radicand. So, ang ibig sabihin ng step 2, ang titingnan lang natin, since magkapareho na sila, ang titingnan lang natin ay itong mga nasa labas, itong mga na-extract. Sila lang yung i-add natin. Tapos, just copy the index and the radicand. Gawin natin dito. 4 plus 5, we know that is 9. And then, kopyahin mo lang yung radical. Take note ha, kukopyahin lang ang radical. Hindi ito pwedeng maging 4x. Hindi mo i-add yung dalawang radicand. Kukopyahin lang together with the square root sign. And finally, simplify if necessary. Wala na namang ibang factor itong 2x na simplify na natin dito sa part na to kanina. So with that being said, example 1 is already solved. This is our final answer. Next, let's go to example number 2. We have 7 square root of 12x minus 5 square root of 3x plus 2 square root of 36x. Ayan, mahaba na. Isang minus at isang plus. But still, the process is the same. Let's start with the first. Check if the radicals are similar. Obviously, pareho lang sila na similar ang index. Pero iba-iba sila na radicand. So, yan. Isi-simplify natin sila. You may pause this video and try simplifying each of the radicals here. This should be the correct set of factors para masimplify natin yung radical. Itong 12, we know that is 4 times 3. Yung 3, wala na naman tayong magagawa. Copy na lang yan. And yung 36, bakit kaya hindi natin pinaktor ang 36? Let's see. Dito muna tayo sa alam natin. Itong 4, meron yung square root. Okay? Tapos, multiply natin sa 7 kung ano man yung square root ng 4. Itong 3, wala namang lalabas dyan eh kasi wala naman tayong pinaktor na exact root. Dito tayo sa 36, magkakaroon ng pagbabago. Dahil ang 36, no need to factor it. Dahil may eksakto ng square root ang 36. That is 6. So dito, yung 4, pag kinuhanan ng square root, that is just 2. Tandaan, multiply sa nasa labas. Yung 3x, maiwan sa loob. Tapos ito, 
uh, kopyahin lang. Tapos yung 36, dahil may eksakto ng sagot ang 36, kapag kinuha na ng square root, yun na yung direkta na multiply sa 2. Tapos, itong variable x, mayon siya sa loob. And then, multiply this 7 and 2 para maging 14. Tapos, yung 3x, kopyahin lang. Ito, bring down lang. Ito, bakit naging 12? Saan galing ang 12? Tama, galing dito sa 2 times 6. Yan. So, kung mapapansin nyo, na-carry out na natin yung step ng pagsisimplify. Wala na tayong masisimplify sa 3x, tsaka sa x. So, therefore, let's proceed to step 2. Ang ibig sabihin ng step 2, ang i-add or i-subtract so lang natin ay yung mga similar radicals. And obviously, ang similar radicals dito ay itong una, 14 square root of 3x, tsaka itong 5 square root of 3x. Ito, kasi ang kaibahan nito, yung radikan niya, walang 3. So, hindi siya kasama sa pag-add or pag-subtract. Ito lang dalawa. 14 minus 5, we know that is 9 square root of 3x. Tapos ito, since wala na naman tayong magagawa para magkaroon din ng 3x sa loob, hindi na natin papakialman. Ganyan na lang. And then, third and last step, simplify. Since wala na rin naman tayong masisimplify, this is already your final answer. So take note, kapag hindi na pwedeng i-add or i-subtract dahil hindi na sila similar radicals, wag nang ipilit. Let me emphasize that. Pag hindi na pwede, wag nang ipilit. Ulitin ko para tumatak. Pag hindi na pwede, wag nang ipilit. Yung pag-aad or pag-subtract. <coughs> Radicals ang pinag-uusapan natin, ha? Radicals. <laughs> Again, we can have an answer like this. Since hindi na natin ma-add, Itong dalawang to, kasi hindi na sila similar, we leave it as it is. Just make sure simplified na yung answer. So, our answer for example 2 is 9 square root of 3x plus 12 square root of x. Let's proceed to the third. Ayan. Iba na. May cube root na. But still, the process is the same. Check if the radicals are similar. Uy, pare-pareho na index. Pero magkakaiba ng radicand. So, obviously, itong una at pangatlo, pareho na sila ng radicals. Hindi na natin sila papakialman. Ang isisimplify na lang natin ay itong gitna. This time, instead of thinking about the square root, we will be dealing with cube root. We have to factor 54 na dapat yung isang factor may cube root. Yung isa naman, wala. Pause this video and think, ano kaya ang tamang factor ng 54 na dapat yung isa may cube root, yung isa wala. Did you got the same set of factors? 27 and 2? Dahil 27 times 2 is 54. So, ang mangyayari dito sa 27, ito yung may cube root tayo na kukuhanin. Dahil ang cube root ng 27 is 3. So, kung mapapansin nyo, yung first and third term, copy lang sa baba. Tapos, yung 27, kuhanan niya ng cube root, that is 3. Paano nakuha yung 3? 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. Yan. So, kung ano man tong number na to, i-multiply natin dun sa madadatnan niya na number sa labas. And then, let's get their product. That is 36. Ayan! Similar na yung tatlong radicals. We can now proceed to the second step. We start from the left going to the right. So, meaning we have to add 3 and 36 and then copy cube root of 2m. 3 plus 36 is 39 cube root of 2m and then copy this one. Subtract 39 and 2, we get 37 cube root of 2m. Simplify if necessary, pero tulad nga nang sabi ko, na simplify na natin dito. So, with that being said, this is already your final answer. So that's it. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.